Welcome to part 3 of the Bagot tutorial. At this point you should have viewed part 1 for a general introduction to the Bagot tool and have Bagot in the Java runtime environment installed on your computer. In this section we're going to demonstrate how you can create and verify bags to package a collection of files that you would like to reliably transfer. Alternatively, if you have received bags and are just interested in unpacking them, you can go to part 4 where we will describe how to retrieve and unpack a bag. This section will take approximately 30 minutes to complete. Returning briefly to our general process flow diagram, we described how there are a couple of alternatives for transferring files, either through the network using a shared network drive that's accessible to both the sender and the receiver, or using a detachable storage device such as a USB portable drive or a USB flash drive. Our example in this section will illustrate the use of a USB portable drive which can be detached from the data sender's computer, transferred, and then attached to the data receiver's computer to receive the files. The portable drive will be seen to be attached via the G drive in the following examples. In this demonstration, the Bagot application and the Java runtime environment have also been installed on the portable drive, and you will see evidence of this as we go to run the Bagot command. As we review the sequence of steps required to create a bag, we are going to focus on steps illustrated on the left side of our process flow diagram. In our demonstration, the data creator is going to create a bag on a USB-attached, removable disk drive that is connected to the G drive. Alternatively, the bag could be created on it and transferred via a USB-attached flash drive. In this case, you would likely see the flash drive connected to the E drive. Or, the bag could be created on a network-attached share drive, denoted by some other letter. Recall that Bagot is a command-driven utility that you will invoke using a DOS command window. It provides an option to create bags and another option to verify bags. If you don't know how to open a DOS command window, we will show you how in this tutorial. The general syntax of the create option is the bag command, followed by the create option, followed by the name of the bag you are creating, including the full path to that file, followed by the list of files and or folders you want to put in the bag. In the example on this slide, we are creating a bag called my underscore easily underscore exec underscore orders underscore bag. When Bagot creates a bag, it looks just like any other folder. We therefore recommend that you append the string underscore bag on the end of the bag name so that you can more easily distinguish bags from other folders in your directory. In the example, we are going to put all of the files into the bag that are in the gov underscore easily underscore executive underscore orders folder. Notice file names do not have any special characters like asterisk or ampersand and we have used the underscore as a space holder between words to aid in the readability of the file. Now let's review how you would run the bag command. First you'll need to open a command window in order to run the bag command. From the lower left hand corner of your computer screen select the start button and then the run option and in the Run window, type in CMD to enter the command command, and select OK. You will see a DOS command window open on your screen, and it will likely default to your Documents and Settings directory. In this example, the Bagot application and the Java runtime environment have been installed on the USB-attached portable disk device that is accessed through the G drive. Alternatively, the Bagot application may be installed on your local computer, and you would then access the Bagot command from your C drive. Before running the Bagot program, you'll want to make sure that the Java Runtime Environmental variable is configured. You can do this by running the set command. This displays an alphabetized list of environmental variables, and you can use the scroll bar on the right to scroll up and down the list and search for the Java Home Environment variable. If you do not see the Java Home Environmental Variable in your listing, you can return to Section 2 of the tutorial that describes the Bagot installation or contact your IT support representative for assistance. Note that administrator access will be required to configure the Java underscore Home Environmental Variable on your computer. Before you run the bag command, you'll need to change directory with the cd command to the directory where the Bagot command lives in your folder structure. On the slide, we see that we can use Windows Explorer to view the folder contents of the spin directory. And then we will also use a DOS command window to change to the directory and view the folder's contents using the dir command. 
Now let's turn to our computer and see how you would run these commands.